What's over? Go back to where you came from, you insignificant beings. Ooh. You are not worthy to enter. Well, you heard it. We better go, guys. I think we're going to need to find, like, two different things. Oh, that's right on the, the, the door said that. Okay. Look, we only came for a little gem of the Magister. Maybe you know of it. I have a feeling we're actually inside the gem right now. We can climb down. Let's stick together. This cave is dark and full of terrors. It's dark and full of terrors. That sounds very Game of Thronesy. If we were talking about the night. That nothing's really happened is a bit unsettling. All right, you know what? Let's go this way. Ooh, treasure. What have we here? We got some food and superb great axe plus two. Oh, oh not bad. If only, you know, we had someone that would use it. The D12 plus two damage. I'd rather my 2D6 plus D8. Let's see what it looks like at least. I guess it doesn't look too bad. Still a two-hander. Plus two to hit and damage. I like that we're starting to see plus two weapons and all that, but uh, I don't know. This place is so dark, I'm tempted to swap Clutch's weapon to something so I could have torch out just for a little bit more light I really thought I oh, never mind Shit. it took me too long to spot him I should have hit space bar holy crap I was going to try to start by ambushing them they just spotted us too quick oh hey spider oh boy Mouse is coming up. What? Oh, attack of opportunity. You nice. cannot defeat me. Take that face spider. Okay, I am thinking. Cause they're all melee range. It doesn't look like they have spit on them, like some of those those uh, acid spiders we fought at the beginning of the forest. So if we go, okay, if we go down, so we can cast, take our shield off for a second. We can put spirit guardians up. Anything that comes near us will take extra damage. And nobody's really hurt. Just get well, mouse is a little hurt. Save our spell. Can't heal anyways. You cast a spell. Looks like they only have a plus four to hit. Which is kind of nice because. Uh, most of our AC is like 
18, 18, 20, 21. Although, the shield's not up right now. Won't be that high. Alright, unfortunately they're in melee range. Let's go melee. What spells do we have available right now? We could try that new mind twist thing. Although I'm reluctant to burn it on our first fight. But it would do, was it? 10d4 psychic damage? And incapacitate things as they come near us? Neko's up by me. We could haste m myself or Reyna. That one spider's almost dead. You know what? Let's do, uh... Let's do some magic missiles. We will missile and missile. Okay, so it has about four hit points left, three or four hit points left. Reyna's turn, her offhand weapon, boom. Oh, another victory. And then her main weapon. Ah! At least they're weak to acid damage. My turn. Hey, Fizz Spider, leave Neko alone. <laughs> Ooh, we got a new level of smites we can do. I like that. Although I'll probably save them for fireballs. Ah! Smite. It lived. How dare you live? I had well, like one shot. hit. Alright. Actually, let me stand right there. Here we go. Whatever this big thing is, it needs to be hit. With a level 2 smite. That did good damage. I just did what? 25? No, 35. Even better. Man. Guardian Spirit is like so good. Uh, you can take it. It did 14 lightning damage. So its bite is 5d6 lightning. That is brutal. All right. Uh, there we go. Kill that little one so Raina can come over and hit the big guy. He's taking enough damage. I think I am going to heal. Healing word on mouse. Heal mouse. Ooh, only nine. Roll the one. And unfortunately, because he's not healing someone else, he doesn't get the free hit points from healing. Usually if he heals, he gets extra hit points whenever he heals somebody. Which is great when he does a mass healing word, heals himself and someone else. He gets like two or three, for he or three, three or four points for healing one other person, and then he gets like the heal on himself too. It's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. We get plus six to hit. Nah. Now that we have nothing near us, let's go with longbow. We're a longbow attack. It's still seeing quarter staff. There we go. Longbow attack. It's like plus nine to hit. Oh, plus 10 now. Nice. 13 does not hit, though. Alright. Reyna. Move on up. We're going to hit the big guy. Sneak attack damage. Ah, well nice. Struck. 
24, not bad. Ah! Crit! Yeah. Didn't get good damage, but we critted. My turn. Ah! Small smite. Um, hmm, it's almost dead. Is a D4 plus five enough to kill that is the question. Let's find out. You can't win. I think I left it at one hit point. Then I missed. Oh man. I was going to hit that on this guy. I think a 15 would have hit him. So had I hit him, I probably would have killed him. I just didn't want to risk this guy doing more lightning damage to the mouse. Another victory. This oh! Is Guardian spirits killed both of them! Yes! Woo! Okay. I guess I did enough. That's all that mattered. And they left no loot. I'm thinking they aren't real spiders. Okay, we can go up to the left. Oh wow, it's almost easier to see by going by the mini map. Oh, there's one of the buttons. All right. I'm liking this dungeon. This is pretty cool. A little bit creepy, but definitely cool. We got it. All right. One down. One to go. And it looks like we don't have to leave someone standing on there, which would have been annoying. Came from? Because I don't. Don't like, but you got an excellent sense of direction. I know exactly where we came from. Oh, wait. Look, there's a little bit of rock jutting up on an angle. Do you see the flame? Kind of stands out. Because there's no other light anywhere else. Ooh, I like the lightning effect inside the dome. Like the little squiggle line. Right there. Look at that. That looks cool. Never noticed that before. Alright. No path to destination. Oh. Okay. And under we go. Pilgrim? A large insect that is a member of the Redeemer species. Its bite is acidic and it can spray pheromones that trigger a frenzy among its ranks. And another face with. Face fighters behind us, as is one of the pilgrims. Which one's going first? If that one's going next. Alright, I am going to ready melee attack. So I want them to come to us. 
Hopefully it doesn't spray. Shouldn't that take damage from guardian spirits? Or is it just outside of range? I was going to hopefully move people over, but I guess I should have left Mouse where he was. Nice roll on that sneak attack. 19. So we did a total of 31 damage. Okay. That's not bad. 31 damage seems to be about 33%. So it's got about 90 hit points. I'll get you yet. That's the spirit. Neko, unfortunately, is in melee range. Um. I don't want to risk two, two attacks. That disadvantage, but don't lose hope. Ooh, that sucks. That crit miss. Crit missed themselves, though. So. My turn. Let's get rid of the face spider before it can bother us again. Bend the knee. Nice. Perish. 15 and 7. Down to 10. Let's hit it with the offhand. Might be enough to kill it. Oh, we critted. Woo! Did exactly 10 before. Damn it, just perfect. Use the main attack. Mm, only 11. That's fine. That went well. And now it's Mouse's turn. Come over this way. They're both inside the effect now. So on its turn, they'll take extra damage. They're able to be just outside its range by like one spot last time. Now we got them surrounded. Ooh, god damage. Wait. I thought it was more than five. Either way. Shield. Oh. Ooh, attack of opportunity. 15 damage. Yeah. Mouse is turned. Dead. I am unbeatable. <laughs> sneak attack. Ah, critical sneak attack. Oh, 55 damage. Yeah. And the sound effect didn't play. Didn't play twice. I was hoping for a go away. There we go. The trouble with random sound effects. You don't always get the one you hope for. So it's resistant to slash damage. That kind of sucks. Neko's turn. Not ready. Fast. And trip. So close. Miss. Miss. Oh wait, no, that actually hits. Crap. Hold firm. You've endured worse. I thought she had a 19 for some reason. There we go. That wasn't too bad a fight. 
burned by acid? Is that it? Is the extra damage over? No loot from that. Let's see. We're down by 12. And, uh, ooh, by like 30 for mouse. All right. I guess we'll do Rare healing. Right. I keep forgetting about that because we can't do it in a fight. 2d8 plus. I think it's like 12 or 13 now. What are the other options there? Restoration, calm emotion, spirit weapon. I was going to do a uh, level four, but we've already used one of those. So yeah, let's do that. Got four for himself, you are and then another value, 26. Comrade. Reyna only got 12. That worked out really good. He's down only by one now. He got 30 hit points. Hmm. This doesn't look ominous at all. Let's go see what's in the cave. Who died? That just looped around to where we were. So that looped back. Doesn't that mean we missed something somewhere? Can we come up this way? Hmm. I found that button. I don't think that unlocked the door. Didn't it need two buttons? Uh. No, oh, there it is. Yeah, see, there's still another button to find. Definitely still another button to find. Oh, wait, actually, the other way. Okay. It's kind of snuck right there. I didn't see it. But that means that one bit of treasure over here I missed. Let's go back for a second. I don't want to miss something. I think we got that loot. There's the button there. Is there anything in this spot we missed? Secret doors or anything? Ah! Very easy to miss with the layout of this place. <laughs> Really? Uh, okay. What about Raina? Can she climb up? She's got like that crazy, crazy thief climbing bit. It's not letting us just go down below. Alright. Neko. Cast. Oh, wait, actually, before we cast, do we have the... Do we have a scroll for it still?
What? Seriously? How does that make any sense? Would it let him misty step? I can misty step over. I'm reloading so we didn't waste the scroll. I can't believe it won't let us fly up there. That's definitely gotta be a, a an oversight in the way the game's working, right? Like that can't be right. Don't be cautious. But necessary. Huh. Ah. Wow, they can see really well in the dark. We do have night, like dark vision. But that just means that they're ah. operating as though they're in Kneel low vision. Now. Rise later. Which would be effectively having disadvantage on any attacks. Alright, what did we get here? We have... Projectile parts. We have gold dragon statuette that we will be selling. It is worth 71 gold. Kind of garbage. We got one gold, four food, an amethyst that's worth 20 gold, some dark stab poison for Reyna to put on her blades. If I remember, and a crafting of the soul drinker dagger. A prime dagger and a soul gem. The soul drinker dagger. The plus one, it does one D four plus two D four psychic damage. As far as daggers go, that's pretty good damage, actually. 3d4 damage on a dagger. I don't know if I'd swap it out for her short sword plus one, which is what? A d6 plus... Well, actually, maybe. Her offhand. Oh, it's a d8. Never mind. Well... Still, that's what, 2 to 9 damage? Whereas 3d4... Is it with the plus 1 on the d4? Because we're looking at like 3 to 12 or 13, right? Where is it? No, it's plus 1 to hit. But it does 3d4 damage. So uh, 3 to 12 damage as opposed to 2 to 9. That does actually beat the other one. If we can, if, if we get back to Kirka Flynn, we could actually make that. I'm not sure if it's really worth it compared to what she's already using. Like it's, it's guaranteed one more damage, potentially three more max damage that the other one couldn't do. The chain of weapon has forged using the ancient knowledge of Manakalan's master smith, a favorite of silent. Whisper Agents. This weapon was designed by uh, Silodier Redblade. Silodier Redblade. Might be worth making it just to see what it looks like. Although, if we could find another weapon that does soul damage, getting another weapon that does uh, an extra 2d4 or 2d6 or 2d8, depending on the weapon damage, could be really cool. Like, I'm just picturing, like, maybe a great sword or something that does 
D like two D eight psychic damage. I wonder if it'll let us knock it over. No. Okay, can we? That one. Can you now jump across? Oh. Yeah. I don't get this one up here, though. It doesn't look like it blocks or connects to anything. <sighs> I'm wondering if we risk like flying up and pushing it. I don't know if it'll actually let us do that. Let's I just quick save. Find out. Yes. Bye. I like to cast it on clutch. Clutch legs flying. The wind in the hair. Interesting. Clutch can't just fly across there. Are you kidding me? Okay, they got some kind of pathfinding weirdness going on with Fly. Because, so, like, in the minimum, he should have been able to walk there. Right? Okay, what if he cast it on himself then? Or, better yet, Clutch showed up for the casting. <sighs> He's there. Come on. Still can't use it. Although now it's letting him fly back down and up. He just can't go across. That is so weird. It's interactable, but we can't interact with it. All right. Well, I find that odd, but They've done a good job getting D&D to work in this system, period, so I I'm still loving it. Is that a statue in the back center there? It almost looks like a person's face in the flame. Or in the rock, I mean, like in the red rock. Okay. Well, we got what I was looking for. Let's hightail it back. Of your you would because you're crazy. Alright. Uh, cast spells. We're only down four spells. Down to one misty step, which kind of sucks, but I think we'll be okay. I'm guessing. The, the Sorax were eaten by bugs? Although the bugs didn't seem that powerful. And we've been kicking their butt. Huh, 
critical miss. Oh. I thought that might give us something to climb on, like jump across to. How's everybody's arrows actually? Clutch is good. Rena's not horrible. Their bolts are good over here. Okay. Still waiting to be able to make the uh, lightning damage bow, but other than that. Oh. Apparently, I can climb my way up. Look at that. I am a beast. We got ourselves five more bolts. Potion of climbing. <laughs> Clearly, you don't need a potion of climbing if you can get to this spot. We'll dig it all. I think that's kind of funny. I guess we can just say everybody. Maybe that them having that leg might fall down there is to show you that you could climb what down. Strength. something the glowing greenness of the next area look kind of freaky Ooh, look at that Is that another door <laughs> It's changing. It's a puzzle room. Okay. We got this. I guess it wants us to come in here. I get past there's the button we need right there I'm curious though can we like spark on them no okay can't make them low either well let's use this tiresome Guiding bolt. You don't have a lot of level three spells. Sure, counter it. This isn't much of a deadly fight. That goblin shaman is the only one that's iffy, and even that ah! guiding bolt doesn't seem like it's much of a spell. Wolfie boy, you're mine. I needed a new pelt anywhere, or a new cloak, I guess. Run while you can. He doesn't stand a chance.
Can't get in melee range. Let's go archery. Now what arrow is she using? Okay, she's got the poison arrows on. So it's a D6 plus a D8. All right. Yeah, D6 plus five damage and a D. Oh, another D6. So two D6 plus five. Still, that's good damage. Ooh, a Lucky. 15 hits. Perhaps. It saved its throw, though. Alright, so it didn't take any poison. Alright. Mouse is. Apparently, the glowing one is still <laughs> invisible. <laughs> That's funny. Gives us advantage on the attack, at least. Uh, arrows. Poison? Okay. Not bad damage. Why did it do radiant damage? It did... I'm not sure why he had radiant damage on that. Like the crossbow's not magical. And the bolt was just normal. Is he just always getting some radiant damage from now on? I'm okay with that's the case. Ooh, it's almost dead. That changes what I'm going to do. Let's instead go magic -y missiles. One on him. One on that. And I guess the cutthroat. Ooh, wow, that did more than I was expecting it to. It did 10, 5, and 5. Nice. 3d6, a d6, and a d6. In my experience, those don't normally do very much damage. Sorry. <laughs> eh, it missed. I thought an 18 would hit clutch. No, no, I got 19 now. When did I get 19? Oh, right, the Cloak of Protection. I keep forgetting about the Cloak of Protection. I'm glad I got a 19 AC. All right, dire wolf. Your life is in dire straits. Victory is yours. Oh, I hit. For what damage? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like my line of luck. I'm assuming I can climb up there on the next turn. Didn't I tell him to go one step farther? Oh well. Ooh, a two. Most Waste of that. that. Acidic arrow. I think that's my biggest complaint with missing is we we lose the arrows. Unbeatable. Yep. Did a whole seven damage. Okay, hide behind mouse for that path cover. Thirteen does not Only hit. the last blow matters. We needed a fourteen. Of course, we were off by one. Okay.
please. Clearly, you have trained well. Honestly, no, it's just natural strength. Natural god given strength from whatever god I worship. Probably one of fire. Ooh, Raina can get into melee rage. I <laughs> underestimated you. My apologies. Don't get sneak damage because no one else is in melee range, but that's okay. She still does good damage. Ooh, missed by one. Missed by one again. Fortune is fickle. Well. Disengaging. Yeah, it's actually trying to run away. Unfortunately for it, that won't work. I hit! Perfect! I did two damage! I did not hit again though. Wow, it moves really quick. Okay, well. How far can... Oh wait, she can shoot. She's actually good with her bow. Missed by one. A oh no, that, that hit. Victory! She didn't even take damage. We're gonna have another fight though. Three more fights, in fact. That's what I thought. Spectral. Alright. Let's see, we got Spectral Knight. Ooh, we got a ghoulie. Badlands Ghost and another ghoulie. Spectral Sorcerer. Ooh, Skeletal Sorcerer. I don't like that. And it's coming up. Alright. Well, in that case... I sadly don't get the turn undead power that... Mouse has. So I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Slice and dice. Left. I must do better. Yes, I must. That's not so bad. We, I, I, I did like what? Thirty-eight damage. Failed the check, so we don't know what spell it is. Um, I don't care what spell it is. Counter. Ghoulie in range. Going for Reyna, but missed. Reyna is going to decimate this SOB. Thanks to the others nearby. Sneak attack. Ah, not bad, eh? Boom. Instant dead. They only have like 22 hit points. She did 21 alone with the sneak attack. And then another 8 and 4. So it's 11 extra damage. Ain't bad. Ooh. Hit the knight. Ah, Almost got a crit. Off by one. So close. 
Unfortunately, her offhand is slashing and not piercing. That might be one of the main reasons to switch from having the elvish short sword to having that soul dagger to go from having slashing to piercing. Because I, I, it would be nice to have piercing at this point. I think it was piercing anyway. Yep. Yeah. It'd be a d4 piercing plus 2d4 psychic, I think. Or whatever that damage is. <sighs> critical miss! I really... I find critical misses in this game very disappointing. Because they don't seem to actually mean anything. Sorry, Neko, you're on your own. Oh. Twenty one is more than he'll do with that spell or his his bow. He does D eight plus six damage. Next time, I swear. Ooh, Avenger. Spectral Avenger. Dodge. Ooh, I'm glad I dodged that. Or Uncanny, Uncanny dodged that. That would have done 22 damage. That Avenger's gotta go. I thought it was like the one we saw before, but this one's still unknown to us, so I'm thinking it might be. No, it is. Still only one of four. So Alright, that guy's almost dead. He's at what? 21? Reyna should be able to kill him, no problem. I'm going for the Avenger. I hit? The 12 hits it? Huh. Uh. Ah! I'm gonna save that because there's still two more fights. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of smites and there might be something big coming up that I want to hit with a level 3 smite. Oh, critical miss. I hit it on a 2 plus. The only time I miss is on a 1. Okay. Shake it Ooh, off. it hit me. That's unusual. No spells for you. Ah. Killed it. Ah. Palpable hit. I was going to move her up, but I'm afraid she might take damage getting up there. Screw it. Ah. Uncanny dodge to half it. Still took 11. But, we got lots of hit points. And now she's ready to take that sorcerer out. And if it tries to cast, a lot of things will be at disadvantage if it's the ranged attack type stuff. So hopefully that works out well. And this ghoul's got us pinned, so I can't just attack the spectral. Um. Unless... If I put the spiritual guardian on, it'll last for like 10 minutes, right? We can have that for all fights. No, wait, are these all? It's saved. Oh, that didn't work out quite what it was, the way I was hoping. Reyna, you feel better, okay now? I'm in your debt, my friend. Okay. I should have put the spiritual guardian thing on. Oh, our last magic missile.
Not bad. Not bad at all. Four, four, five. Critical miss. I think the only thing that critical miss does in this game is no matter what the armor class, like if you would have hit, you still miss. This is just a guaranteed miss. Fortunately, it doesn't give you like, open you up for an attack of opportunity or anything interesting. Bravo, victory is yours. One more with feeling. Bad. Oh, it's running away. Shouldn't Rena have gotten an attack of opportunity on it? Or did it get disengaged? Crit. Oh! Take that, you fiend! Wait, shouldn't she have? Oh, they both have ranged weapons on right now. Never mind. It's gonna be like, shouldn't she have gotten a? Sneak attack, but they're not engaging it immediately. Right. Trust in the armor class, mouse. Got a 21. It hit a 19. I'm glad I put the shield back on. Oh, we missed. Neko can get rid of the ghoulie. I trained hard for this. And then Clutch can go for the other. You know, I can critical miss. Twice. I shouldn't actually be able to do this attack right now. But I'll take it. Well D4 struck. plus 5 damage for 7. Pass. I'm not wasting my counters on that. Although it now has like 18 AC. Better luck next time. That'll hit. Oh, Neko. Neko is sweet in a fight. That'll hit. Run while you feel that. Yeah. All right. Not that we're hurting, but That's better. Get some spells back. I feel like I should have long rested before coming down here just so that we would have all our spells available. Two more fights. Ogre zombie. And an ogre. You can Ow. take it. Orc chieftain. <laughs> Unfortunately for the orc chieftain, it's in combat range with both Clutch and Reyna. She's going to be able to sneak attack it. It's going to be feeling the pain in a second. 
Unfortunately, they're spread out. Quite a ways. Fireball! XL5! Only 26. 13 to the Winter Wolf. Because it got its deck save. I feel like maybe coming up here. I don't know if that's a good choice or not. My turn! Hey, Ogre! I don't know what your AC is. I'm gonna have to chop you up now. Once more! One there! Chieftain! Backhand ya! Or not. Okay. Sorry. Raina's turn though, and she's gonna mess you up. Sneak attack, six, six, five. Wow, 24 on the sneak. Not bad at all, Raina. Not, oh. Two on the second attack. Eh, two damage is better than no damage. You're still in the Did he fight, just backhand me? I don't like that I just took a bunch of damage on Clutch. That Berserker hurt. And I was missed. Ten. At least it hit the Berserker. I didn't know the Winter Wolf could do that. A cone of cold breath? Your comrades will save you. A Grim Blade? It's a sacred flame. Let it pass. Grimblade dropped me. Oh shit. Uh boy. We're in trouble. I could give myself 45 more hit points. Try to kill something. I think I need to heal myself. Nobody look. I need to have some private time. Lay on hand. Ooh, 45. I thought it was... I forgot. I just leveled up. It got a little bit better. at higher level doesn't do anything more.
That's one target. Oh, as a target. Didn't say add increased targets? Shouldn't I have been able to have other people get divine favor too? So it's going to have Reina and Neck or Reina and Mouse also getting divine favor. All right, Reina's turn. Get it. Oh, a modest success. Not as much as I was hoping for. Another three. It's not nearly as much as I was hoping for. Berserker's turn. Ow! Stop hitting me! Thank you. Um, why aren't they getting the benefit of my aura? Like ne uh, Neko and myself don't have my aura on me. We should be getting one AC. That we don't seem to be. Quite a few spells actually. If I drop the shield, I could put Guardian Spirits. Or we could Flame Strike. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. It's can we get all four of them? Oh boy! Yep! Yeah, here's what we're doing! Eighteen and fourteen. Not bad at all! Way to go, Mouse! You just did a ton of damage! The Grim Blade took, uh, sixteen. The Winter Wolf took 32 the ogre took 32 and the berserker made his save so he also only took 16 but still that's like 70 damage across four targets if you can add it all up i still think it might have been good to put this spell on um guardian spirits but that was way more damage all at once like the zombies all but dead one hit the backhand hit from clutch if he survives will kill it and the other two are close to dying, so. And the Winter Wolves at half, so. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, the shield's down. <laughs> Lightning Bolt? Oh, hell no. Um, I'm not taking a lightning bolt. That would have really messed us up. All right, Neko's turn. The question is. Is it at like one hit point? Cause then we could like magic missile and then do some damage elsewhere. Ooh, we could try shatter. Sorry clutch. I didn't mean to shatter you, but it's worth it. Impressive move, my friend. Drop the zombie. Berserker's almost dead. The Winter Wolf's almost dead. The Grim Blade is perturbed. And Clutch only took more than I would have liked, but how much did I take anyway? Where's Clutch on that list? Clutch. 15. I failed my save. That's okay. 
it was a a warranted risk, I think. All right, uh, the Berserker, he's got 10 hit points left. Oh, I missed. All right, a D4 plus five, and then it should have radiant damage on top of that. Or is that gone? That seems to be gone. Fine, go for the main attack. A good kill, as they say. Didn't kill him. Did good damage, though. Brain is turned. Kill him! Got him! The Winter Wolf is at what? 18? She can't do 18 damage. I don't even want to try. Go for him. The Grim Blade's the biggest. Oh, crit! Just where it hurts most. 16! Alright. Clutch needs a heal. Eighteen. He does two D six plus five. So at most that's only like seventeen. I'm out of water. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, um, um, um. Three D eight. But you can save for half. What kind of save is it though? It doesn't say if it's a deck save or if it's like wisdom or charisma or what? It's 16. It left it at two. I was trying to avoid that. Oh. I don't like it when they get sneak attacks on me. It said no spells for you. Oh, actually that was secret flame. Dang it, I should have let that one through. Orc Archer. I 
trained hard for this. That was. Oh, it must have made it safe. I was gonna be. Yeah, it made it safe. It's like I thought that was a poison arrow. Um. Does she need to heal? Not really. Your skills. Bravo. Yeah. Okay. My last heal. Um. I just got three. I got eleven. Seems pretty fair. He was trying to do a lightning bolt. That was definitely one I wanted to counter. Ooh, 19. Lucky? Perhaps. No, no, no. That's skill, my friend. All skill. This is one dead shame in the 13 hit points. I rolled a two. It's got 13 AC. I hit a 12. I hit on a 3 plus. I rolled a 2 twice. Oh, Raina's turn. There we go. Well time post take help. That's usually how it works out, right? Uh, I don't wanna do this last fight. Oh wait, what's over here? We got like treasure? Huh? So there's no bad traps or anything. Ooh, yeah. See, that's the whole point is to set him off guard. He think, ooh, a splendid plate armor. We gotta identify. Ooh, ah, clutch is getting armor. Ritualistic. I. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Something good. More caution you know, I'll take it as a plus one plate. I was hoping for a plus two. Because usually magnificent is plus one. Splendid, last time we saw a splendid, it was plus two. But still, 19 AC. That means Clutch is going to have a 20 AC thanks to my plus one. Oh, and uh, tw 22, actually. 21 naturally, and then, ooh. I like the helmet. I don't know if I like the chest plate. The chest plate looks like the half plate. Too much. It still looks better than the other one. All right. Um, uh, that's what, a 17? You're a 15 with two decks, makes you a 17. So it wouldn't change anything for mouse. Except for give disadvantage on stealth. And also mouse has the coolest looking armor in the group so far. Like that doesn't look bad. I think it looks good on mouse actually, it's just the other one looked really cool. 21. Or. 
21. If this thing, if the chainmail allowed any AC bo or uh, dex bonus, it would have been the better option. But the dex bonus coming in from the uh, the scale mail kind of sets it, makes it the better option. Could give it to Reyna, but then she'd have disadvantage on stealth. Oh, oh, she's not proficient with it though, but she can actually. And of course, we can't put it on the mage because mages are weird and don't like armor. All right. Well, we still got extra AC. Twenty-one AC from for a clutch though. That's a nice boost. We went from 17 to 19. All right. That, that's worth it. We got one fight left. Uh, let's do a rest. I really wish we could do a long rest right now. The problem isn't so much our hit points, the problem is the lack of uh, spells. Defeat the final opponent. I have an idea actually. Uh, cast a spell. Not here. Um. Cast a spell. Spirit Guardians. It gets what? Plus one dice of damage. So we'll make it 48. Last for 10 minutes. He brings his shield back out. We can start with protection. Wasn't smart. Anything that comes in to attack us is going to feel the pain. Attack of opportunity, hit it. What am I hitting right now? A crimson spider? I have one smite. I don't know if I want to use it. I'm going to pass for now. We've already done half its health. Wow, it's got a plus 10 to hit. Claw Claw, Acid Bite. Oh my gosh. That's like, those are the things we fought on the way in, I think. Spirit Guardian. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, shield. It does like 3d6 acid, so it's half dead already. Look at that. This is working out great with that spell on there. Uh, it would hit him. It's a zealot too. Minotaur, two-faced spiders. A Zealot, the Fire Osprey, the Tiger Drake, and the Crimson Spider. I'm not actually that worried about things, to be honest. We can't do Fireball unless we upcast it. We could do a Cone of Cold. We do it right. 
we do it there, I think it hits all those. I think it hits a phase spider, the crimson spider, the zealot, and that bat thingy that just came in. I kind of want to do that, but the other option is we could put the the psychic explosion, the psychic shield up with the, the other shield. So then when they come in, they'll take damage from the spirit guardians and the psychic. Like that. That's a massive area of effect for the psychic damage. How much does it do again? 10d4? Save for half? You get incapacitated if you don't make your save? I think that's a we win spell. My turn. Minotaur. The Minotaur already took a crap ton of damage. Look at that. Minotaur is at like 44. I'm going to step. I want to kill the spider, I think, maybe. Well, if I can kill the Minotaur. No, let's go for the Minotaur. If I can kill the Minotaur, it won't get to act. Crit! It's dead. Smite! You'll surely prevail. I just did, let's see, 29, 39, 49, 58 damage. Yeah. And now I can still swing two more times. Bye bye, spider. Or I can miss. Come on. It's gonna die on its turn. Oh, I love it. Attack of opportunity for mouse. How did that thing get through? Oh, I guess that psychic thing is only a one-time spell. I thought it was like consistent. You can't win. Either way, it's still worth it. <sighs> the zealot really likes me. It likes me, really. See, okay, that's not cool. It should still be getting hit with that spell. Just because it teleported in doesn't mean it didn't come inside the range. Uh, Ow, 4d6. Poison? Yikes. Alright, let's see. Reyna can hit the spider. No, let's hit the big guy with the sneak attack. Uh, not bad, nice. eh? Yeah, 20 or 30 damage, not bad at all. And then hit the spider. Ugh. I didn't kill it. It resisted the damage. All right, so far so good. Save. You cannot defeat me. All right. Anybody hurting? Not really. Like a little bit, but not really. Rain is at fifty two out of eighty four. We have two mass healing words.
No, there's a missed situation. What it is is because they teleported in rather than walked into it. And it's wording, I guess, is approaching targets. They're not affected on it until their next turn. They should have been hit by the guardian spirits. They're still inside it. And a teleport still moves you in. In my books, as a DM, I would have applied the damage. But the game doesn't for some reason. I'm in your debt, my friend. And that one's just a check range. Shouldn't I have had an attack of opportunity? Let's see, we have some, we get, we have shatter. Question is, will it get Does the shatter get the the one up top or not? I think is the question. There it does, but then it also gets clutch. What if I just brought it up one? Still gets clutch. So when it does hit it, it makes it kind of white. Nobody has your skills. Bravo. All right, that worked pretty good. Didn't hit clutch, killed off the crimson, hurt the zealot and the the osprey. And now it's Clutch's turn. Let's see, the face spider. This one hasn't acted yet. Let's see if I can kill the face spider. Go on! And the offhand attack. Got it. I don't know if that's within melee range. Can I attack? Apparently not. Apparently he's outside of my melee range. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going back down then. <sighs> I wanted to go hit the face spider, but the knee. didn't Don't want to perish. risk getting hit. You would think I should have been able to like swung on, even if it used up action to do like a little jump and a swing, something. I would have taken it a negative to hit to jump and swing at it. Still stand. Actually, that crit was crap. Now I can kill it. No, I missed. Never mind. At least Reina's got someone taking the heat off her. Tending me instead. You were doomed. How did it climb up there? It like floated up in a weird way. That's funny. And it resists. Her offhand is really not holding up as well as I would like things to hold up. 
And the D8 plus one, it seemed better as a short sword, but I guess pierce it changed the normal damage from it changed it from piercing to slashing. A lot more things seem to be resistant to slashing than piercing. We're either going to go back to using her old dagger, I think, or her old short sword, the cute one we made. Short sword of cuteness, or we go back to making that, or we go try to make that soul dagger. 3D four thinger. Tiger Drake's coming up. I'll move over so it has to go through the bubble to get more people. Mouse missed, but that's okay. We're in good shape. This fight went. Yes! It disintegrated. Guardian Spirits, I love you so much. Alright, attack. Got what? 15? That'd be max damage. Still like max damage. Still, I don't use it much. A palpable hit. It's eleven cold. Personally, it should be weak to cold stuff. as much as I could have really hoped for. Kill it. And then an you arrow and maybe win. hit the other guy. If I can hit it, I can do four damage possibly. Okay. Alright guys, here's the question. I'm bad at bows. I did one damage. I should have moved Neko in. Should have brought Neko in so it'd have to go in the field and I I didn't notice. Oh well. Now it'll have to go through the spell to get in range. Sacred flame. You should have yielded. Three damage exactly. Yeah, we won, guys. That was almost 2,000 XP. And there's a new bit of loot for a. Oh, what? Who's on fire? Oh, Neko's on fire. See, I shouldn't have to. At the end of the fight, it should automatically, if they're on fire, they extinguish themselves. It should just be an action they automatically take. Hexagonal ring. And a blood ruby. Blood ruby is an ingredient for something. We just don't have anything that needs it, though. That was a good a challenge. I like that. I like this dungeon so far. Now we can go do a long rest. We need it. You know what I just realized? Light's not working. 
Light will guide us. Oh. Uh, where's the way out? Oh, I see. We have to go up and around. Okay. I need to get some water, though. I'll be right back, everybody. My mouth is so dry. Let me throw on some music for you, though. Dr. Pepper. All right. Back to the game, everybody. Let's kick some butt. Hope that it lets us go back to a long rest. I don't like it either. See where it put us. Oh, what? we missed the door. I forgot I was going to say something. Elena Swift, play the wise, you fools. Go ahead. That's what we missed. All right. What we did not miss was taking a nap. Yeah, long rest, very needed. Spells are tapped. We, we wait 12 hours to set up camp. All right, well, we're almost back to full. intelligence saving throw it's only one round okay for some reason i thought it was one minute i just misread it so it's just it goes off it does damage for that one round for some reason i thought it, it, it lasted for a little while as a bubble kind of like the guardian spirit Might still have been worth swapping it out for something else. But it's still pretty good damage. And that, that incapacitation 
This could be super handy. All right. Let's update our save real quick. The trouble save, of course. We're in a dungeon. All right. Open says me. Oh, um. Gotta put the light back on. I'm not sure I like the way they did the light. It makes it a little glowing orb floating nearby. I don't mind that if that's like if they cast it on ourselves or something. But like if I put it on my mace, I want it to look like it's coming from my mace, you know? Also, they don't allow us to do interesting things with it. Like we can't cast it on like other people's like cast it on the arrow and shoot the arrow or cast it on uh the eyelid, uh, the eyelids of the target. I ha I had that happen in a D and D campaign once. The guy's like, "Well, I cast light on his eyeballs." And it's like, okay, which eyeball? He partially blinds the guy. Those statues look weird. Perhaps. But those chests look mighty real to me. But are we entitled to it? What do you mean? So far, we haven't met a living soul in this labyrinth. And your point? That would be stealing from the owner. Nah, spoils of war. But we want his help, remember? Stealing makes a bad impression, usually. Can we just take a peek? Usually. First? We don't have to take anything. Just a look, right? Makes sense that Rada would be like, just take a look at least. She's the thief, right? 